Hey guys, this is Milky Ways, the author of Spawn Egg, or Anti-Spawn Egg, I should say. And today it's going to be a tutorial on how to use it, pretty much what it does, and all that good stuff. So, when you reload the server or restart, it loads this config, and it's generally self-explanatory. I mean, for the world, you put the world name, and for the purpose of this tutorial and for the purpose of my server, I have a world named New World, which is the world we are currently uh, are getting soon, but not quite yet. Anyways, uh, economy charge. Whenever someone uses a spawn egg, uh, it charges them money. Uh, this is if they're allowed to use it and if they don't have permission to bypass it. So. This is uses vault, so if you don't have vault, then it doesn't. It just ignores that. Uh, block dispense. You can block the dispense of spawner eggs, chicken eggs, fireballs, and XP bottles. Now, you if you set that to false, it'll allow you to anybody to put it in a dispenser, and it'll work fine. But if you use this as true, when someone tries to dispense it, it will alert you of the location and the world, and yes, it'll alert you. And you can configure the alerts right here. Also, it'll alert you if they attempt to throw a XP bottle, fire charge, chicken egg, or a spawner egg. That's not uh, configurable though because it's just default. And you can disable eggs here. Um, here's how this works. If you disable an egg here, the only way someone will be able to use it is if they have permission. Now, you may be wondering, what if you do not want an op to use it? Well, this is what you do. You go to their rank, and let's say permissions bucket, and then you just do anti spawn egg dot creeper false. You can use this for creative players as well. And see, you can add permissions to people's uh, names, so you can single out people, or you could just put it under their group. So if you set it to false, even if they are an op, they are not allowed to use eggs. So that's kind of the way my plugin works. I mean, I think it's a lot simpler than adding like two different sets of permission nodes and whatnot. That's just a little too over, over the edge. Um, pretty much from version 2.6, this is 2.7. Uh, what I've added was I just made a few bug fixes, a few spelling typo errors, fix those, and uh, I also added this feature where now this allows you to clear the inventory of other players and yourself included of eggs you don't want. Now, let's say I do not have permission to do this, and someone just goes around spamming this because it can't. If they do that, it will spam you if you have alerts on which is why I allow you to turn them off. But if you type anti-spawning, short for ASE, purge Milky Ways, it will remove all of them from my inventory. Um, let's see, also, well that, that pretty much shows you what's new, but I'll show you the dispenser alerts and how they work. <laughs> okay, anyways, so this is what it says. Uh, it failed a dispense of, tells you what it is, tells you where. Currently, I'm in the world name called New World, at, that's the corp, that's the X, that's the Y, and that is the Z. And since blocks, blocks only uh, are placed on like the zero of a coordinate, there is, it just doesn't ever show you the, the point, because if I didn't use a trick to turn doubles into integers, so that would have been point zero. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, so that just shows you when someone tries to dispense something, it doesn't let them. That's how that works. And as you can see, it could, if they made like a repeater, 
if they made a repeater, it could uh, spin. So that's why I provide you the coordinates and the world so you can teleport to them and destroy the dispenser in rage. Anyways, that pretty much sums it up. If you, uh, if you guys like these tutorials or need further explanation of the permissions, config, or just more of a showcase of what it does in game, go ahead and leave a comment or suggest it. And that is it.